Hello and welcome to Stories Mother Told. Today's story is from the Maasai tribe of Kenya. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let me take you back to Africa. Today's story is titled, The Greatest Warrior of All. Once upon a time, just out of curiosity, a caterpillar slipped into a hare's den. Seeing that there was nobody there, he made himself right at home in the darkest, most sheltered corner of the cool den. After a while, the hare came back, and when he saw the tracks on the ground, he was most astonished. Whoever can this creature be who leaves these little marks in the dust, he thought. Unable to get to the bottom of the mystery, he asked in a loud voice, Who is in my house? The caterpillar, who was something of a braggart, answered, I am the greatest warrior of all. I smash the rhinoceros to the ground, and I make mincemeat out of the elephant. I am truly terrible. Hearing these words, the hare trembled with fear and took to his heels. By the sacred forest, he thought, what can I do against someone who says that he is the greatest warrior of all? As he was running away, he met up with the jackal on the pathway. Brother Jackal, he said, would you mind helping me? With pleasure, if I can, the jackal replied. Come to my house, and you try to talk to the so-and-so who has set himself up in there. The jackal agreed, and when the two animals reached the entrance to the den, the jackal shouted at the top of his voice, Who is hiding in my friend the hare's house? The caterpillar was not worried at all. And he replied, I am not hiding. I am the greatest warrior of all. I smash the rhinoceros to the ground, and I make mincemeat out of the elephant. I am truly terrible. The jackal completely lost his courage, and, apologizing to the hare, he said that with a little so and so like that, he could do very little indeed. He said goodbye and ran off. The bitterly disappointed hare retraced his steps and went to look for the leopard. He found the leopard under a tree and made the same request of him. Could he go and see who on earth has set himself up in his house? The leopard didn't waste any time, and when he got to the entrance to the hare's den, he said in a loud voice, Who is hiding in my friend the hare's house? And once again, the caterpillar was not frightened, and he promptly responded, I am not hiding. I am the greatest of all warriors. I smash the rhinoceros to the ground, and I make mincemeat out of the elephant. I am truly terrible. The leopard was quite puzzled. He looked at the hare and said to him, My dear hare, if this creature is able to do all of that, I don't see how I could come out of this with my life. Even if I am the great leopard, I'm sorry, but it's better if I just leave. The hare began to give up hope. He thought and he thought, and finally, he decided that the only thing to do was to turn to the very animals invoked by the terrible warrior. So he went to see the rhinoceros and told him the whole story. The large beast, who took great pride in his strength and in his horn, followed the hare to his den and bellowed in a menacing voice, Who are you who dares to hide in the house of my friend? And in a voice amplified by the hole in the ground so that it seemed like the voice of a giant, the caterpillar replied, I am not hiding. Come on in if you have the nerve. But don't forget, rhinoceros, that I am the greatest of all warriors and I smash to the ground any rhinoceros that I run into. The rhinoceros was dumbfounded by this answer. He thought it over and then said to the hare, He said smash to the ground, huh? Well, I'm sure he's just boasting. But anyway, maybe it's better to forget about it. Take care of yourself, my dear hare. And he took off at a good trot. The poor little hare then went to the elephant. Oh, great elephant, second only to the king, the lion. Please help me. There is a terrible warrior in my den who has thoroughly abused the rhinoceros and who says that he can make mincemeat out of you. The elephant scratched his head with his enormous trunk, flapped his immense ears a bit and fidgeted somewhat uneasily. Finally, he cleared his throat and said, My dear hare, I would be very interested in taking on your terrible warrior, but it just happened to be almost bath time and I can't pass that up. And don't look for me tomorrow either, I'm leaving. See you soon, my friend. Then he turned around, 
and with a bouncy gait that one would not expect from such a stately animal, he moved deeper into the forest. The hare was truly desperate. He sat down on the grass and began to sigh heavily. After a while, a frog passed through the meadow, and seeing the hare in such an unhappy state, he stopped and asked him, My dear hare, why such great size? What is the matter with you? If you only knew, the hare responded between sighs, my house has been occupied by the greatest of all warriors, a terrible monster. Just imagine, he has driven off the jackal, the leopard, the rhinoceros, and even the elephant, without even leaving my den. So, that is the state I find myself in. Dear, dear, it seems incredible, said the frog. If only it were. He is a warrior who smashes rhinoceroses to the ground and makes mincemeat out of elephants, and he's not kidding. That certainly makes me want to go and see what an ugly puss he must have, said the frog, and without wasting any more time, he headed towards the hare's house, moving in great long leaps. When the frog reached the den, he stood in the entryway and cried out, Who is hiding in my friend the hare's house? The caterpillar, who had developed quite a swelled head after having driven off the jackal, the leopard, the rhinoceros and the elephant, answered in the same booming voice as before. I am not hiding. I am the greatest of all warriors. I have made all of the animals of the savannah and the forest run away. I smashed the rhinoceros to the ground and I made mincemeat out of the elephant. The frog, who as everybody well knows is as brave and intelligent as he is ugly, didn't take these words too seriously and with a great leap, he entered the den. Where are you? said the frog as he advanced into the darkness. I am really happy to have found an adversary who is worthy of me. Then, the caterpillar saw the frog, with his big green head and his yellow eyes, drawing near, and the caterpillar was afraid. Hiding himself in a corner at the back of the den, he whispered weakly, It's just the caterpillar. The frog smiled, picked up the caterpillar, and carried him outside. The hare was a bit ashamed, but he quickly cheered up, when he thought about how the animals he had gone to for help had behaved. They were big, strong, and scared. A thousand thanks, my friend the frog, said the hare. You, who everybody teases for being ugly, you, a small defenseless animal, were the bravest and cleverest of all of us, and I will tell the world of your deed. While the hare was saying this, all of the animals of the plains and of the forest had drawn near the hare's den attracted by the great to-do, and you can imagine the laugh they had when the hare explained how it had all turned out. That is all for today guys, thank you so much for listening to today's story, I hope you enjoyed it, as usual please do not forget to rate and review the podcast on iTunes and any other platforms that you do listen on as this goes a long way to help the podcast grow. If there are any stories you would like to listen to, send me an email at storiesmothertold at gmail.com or on Instagram at Stories Mother Told. Do not forget to share this podcast with a friend and subscribe so you do not miss an episode. For all your black history needs, check out the website tantimo.com. And if you enjoy scary African folklore and urban legends, check out the podcast African Horror Stories. Until next week, see ya!